Have you noticed how driving is getting more difficult by the day? With more and more people joining on the roads, we get more and more idiots that seem to have bought their licenses. From trucks to speeding over speed bumps, we have it all in today's episode. So before we start with the video, it would be best if you took out a notepad to make some essential notes. Grab your snacks while you're at it and let us begin with the video. Due to icy conditions, this officer is responding to a crash because of the slippery conditions. Who knew he would be bagging a two-in-one that day? A drag race goes wrong as the owner of the Camaro spins out of control, but he did get a fair share of warnings when his car lost traction multiple times. Sensors, cameras, whatever gadgets you may use, you can't just turn a bad driver into a good one. Just like all twins, now we know which one of them is the stupid one. Are you nervous? Are you good? You're good. Okay. Over speeding and overtaking someone in the wrong place can have disastrous results if you clearly lack the skills to do so. Here is someone who does not know the rules of pulling out. Even after the driver gave them a lot of room to breathe, they still almost ended up hitting them. Likewise, here is another person that literally did the same thing, even though they had two other lanes they could go into. Before you start driving away in your multi-million dollar hypercar, make sure you look around where it is parked first. Legend says that they are still saying wada 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 wada. A street drag race is about to go down. Both drivers get a good launch, but it's the braking that they need to worry about because an idiot is just casually burning rubber at the finish. Here is what happens when you give a small car too much horsepower. Just like a child after eating too much much candy. Watch these guys set a personal speed record in their car, but a word to the wise, do the stuff on roads you're familiar with, or else this could happen to you. These takeovers are just full of people who have the car, but not the skill to drive it, because just look at this waste of good cars. Paying attention on the road is key to staying away from accidents, and when you look away, this is exactly what happens. This person seems to be very focused on finding what he was looking for. He gets up to respond to a text, probably from the missus, and before you know it, there is a car in the store. A weird world we live in, I know. That person is waving at the oncoming rally cars to warn them of an accident ahead, ignoring everything, and even after seeing the crashed car, the driver still manages to become a part of the scene. Late night meets are fun because you get to see drivers like these trying to impress people with skills they don't have in the first place. Somehow, even looking at big trucks with trailers at their backs is a hard thing because this driver is just stupid or actually blind. For this one, I believe both of them are to be blamed. The driver had parked at the choke point basically blocking the road, and the trucker should have stopped. This is the perfect example of the saying, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me, because he literally made it happen. This driver ended up predicting what was about to happen and simply got out of the way from getting rear-ended. Moved. Yep, that's why I moved. If you're still confused about what understeer is, maybe this is your time to understand it, because this clip perfectly explains it if you take a good look. Someone here is clearly not in the right senses to be driving a car. Daytime drinkers are a real thing. From the looks of it, I bet he didn't make it far. A bunch of teens high on Red Bull probably think they know what they are doing and end up losing control of their car after failing to make a turn. <laughs> Just like those boys, here comes an idiot who believes if he drives fast enough, his large SUV can turn into an F1 car. This guy wanted to make it look like he was going to hit the board, but his brakes failed and his prank turned into reality. Let us just say that he hit the speed limit. A track day is finally here and this guy can't wait to learn something new today. For example, what is the perfect entry speed for your car at any turn? Somehow, Mercedes and BMW drivers think that they always have enough space to make the cut, when in fact, they never really do. Boy, is this guy furious. This friendly neighborhood get-together almost goes south when a friend trying to show off his skills almost ends up taking everyone on a one-way trip. Imagine starting your new year like this, with someone literally almost driving over your timeless classic supercar.
Trying to pull off an 11 with a truck is like trying to maneuver a big boat through rough waters, except that you have poles you can ram into. An empty parking lot does not mean you can do anything you want. You still have other obstacles, like for this case, a freaking wall maybe? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine exiting a car meet and you end up spinning out like this. What is more embarrassing is the fact that he has his top down. There is no place he can hide his face after that. <laughs> Driving down this road, this person encounters a truck turning left. That was wrong on the trucker's behalf, but he literally had an entire lifetime to break, but he didn't. Five bucks say that half of you guys won't realize what this stupid person has done. Here's a hint, platinum is not cheap. Speeding into the scene, we see a Jeep driver who is in no mood to stop for a red light and ends up hitting two cars because of this. Turning right with his left blinker on? Now that is a major warning sign of the type of driver this is, and we find that out just three seconds later. I know we all like to send it when we exit car meets, but we don't have to send it so hard that we end up losing control of it. The accident you see here is not entirely the fault of the driver, but it is due to the weirdest speed breaker in the world. Here is the only situation for drivers that seem to fall asleep behind the wheel. Just get a car with a train horn in it. What is yellow? Going fast and on fire? This BMW M4, of course. Yo, 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 yo. Here is another shot of that same speed breaker we saw a while back. Just to show how blindly people actually drive, now they are not willing to slow down for them. Two blokes tried racing around this roundabout and clearly did not know where the finish line was. While merging onto this main road, the lady completely forgot to stop and look before entering onto the road. Racing in parking lots sounds like fun until everyone starts running around like ants and start bumping into one another. Like so, Mopar meetups in the street are not always convenient either. Who are they going to blame for this one? Here is proof that people can be completely ignorant of things around them on highways and change lanes blindly.